Hello siblings, welcome back to my channel. We are officially one week away from my move from Utah to Texas. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications to keep up with my moving series. This is part two of me like packing and getting ready. This will be the last part about like packing and then my next video that has to do with moving will probably be me like literally moving. So in exactly one week, I am going to be during a 22 hour road trip with everything I own. And I still have so much to do and I'm like, <laughs> so a few updates. This is my room right now. I have all of my gaming stuff here. My bed, which I have a friend that's gonna come get it like two days before I move, so I'll have my bed until I move. And then my TV, and that's everything I'm keeping. I still need to set like this mirror. And then in this room, I just have my cat litters. And then this room is 100% empty. <laughs> Hiccups. I sold my desk that had all my gaming stuff on it. So it's so nice to finally just have an empty room. So far, this is what I have in the packed area. I still need to sell that. And then this is all donate. So on Friday, I am making a big donation trip because you have to, for some reason, like schedule your donations because of COVID, I don't know. So I'm gonna go now try to take all this down into my garage so I don't have to put it all in my car on Friday. So. That's gonna be step one today. I've also been drinking a lot of caffeine soon, so I think I have a headache because I haven't drank any today. I hate that I'm like back on the grind of being addicted to caffeine, but um, you gotta do what you gotta do. We're gonna drink this. wall looking so good the only other things I'm gonna donate is gonna be like my stools that wicker basket probably my trash can it's kind of broken anyways I'll just get a new one packing section is going <sighs> I'm getting stressed <laughs> if I could just sell this dresser like a lot of my stress would be gone if I'm being honest I also have all these like blankets and pillows I'm gonna have to somehow shove in there now another whole issue is gonna be my bathroom and my closet so I think I'm actually gonna start packing all this stuff, putting all my clothes in a suitcase, cause I only have a week, I can just live out of a suitcase. I mean, I did laundry, so I've literally been living out of a laundry basket anyway, so what's the difference? Um, I'm probably gonna need to buy like two more of these because I need one more for my kitchen, then probably one for just like last minute things, like rugs, my shower curtain, all that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna try to kind of pack up all of my bathroom stuff right now. This also works out perfect because I only have one more hair appointment and it's on Friday so my hair I won't have to do for like a whole week so it's perfect I don't I can pack my shampoo all that stuff I have no idea how I just fit all of that. Oh shoot, I still have those clothes. <sighs> okay, I think this is good for now. It's always like the last few things that makes it so stressful. Like, what is this? What do I do with it? But that's gonna be all the packing I do for today. That's gonna be all the packing I do for today. I'll check. That's gonna be all the packing I do for today. Oh my gosh. That's gonna be all the packing I do for today and I will catch you guys tomorrow. All right guys, it's the next day and we're now like, what, six days away from a move and I'm starting to get stressed, but like so many things I can't pack until like right before I move. So I'm like, what do I do? Anyway, something I completely forgot about is my curtain rods and my curtains. So I'm gonna take those down right now. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to reach these. I am short and I don't have like a ladder. Let me get my step stool. Also, all my stuff is in the way. I might not be able to do this until I pack all my stuff. I mean, I can barely even reach, so I might just have to wait until someone's here to help. Unless I stand on this edge, but I don't wanna fall. Yeah, I'm not doing this. So I just cleaned my bathroom, and this is what my closet is looking like. These are like my clothes for the next week or so. 
and to take that in the living room, but it's like super empty. My room genuinely just stresses me out, but I'm getting rid of my bed on Sunday and then all of my gaming stuff, I'll probably pack up after the weekend as I don't wanna just be doing nothing. I like playing games, so I don't wanna pack it all yet. It's like, ah, oh, it's so stressful, you know? But I mean, that room's empty as I showed y'all. Let me show you the pile of stuff that needs to go with me. This pile just keeps getting bigger and bigger and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> am I gonna be able to fit all of this? And I'm still stressed because no one's buying my dresser. And I have my two TVs and like my lighting and all this stuff and I'm too short to take that down. So it's definitely turning into a little bit of a stressful situation, but my mom and Sam will be here on Sunday and they can help me finish all of this stuff. <laughs> so I'm really not too worried about it and I honestly probably won't pack much else until they're here and I'm gonna be staying at a hotel with them so that's when I know I can literally pack everything and I can shower at the hotel, all that stuff. Same thing with my kitchen, like I still need to make food so I can't pack everything and I don't wanna eat out every day. So I'm just like stuck, I'm like what do I do? So I wanna take this shoe shelf because it's so cute and I have so many shoes I need it but um, I think it comes apart which would make it so much easier to bring. Yay, these all unscrew. Well, I honestly thought in this video I would have like everything packed and then I'd be like, look, everything's packed. But no, um, that's definitely not happening. I don't think everything's gonna be packed until the day I leave. <laughs> I hate moving. It's like, can I just, can I just go already? But that's it for packing, I guess, for this video. I guess while I make breakfast, I can just talk to you guys for a little bit. This is terrible lighting. We'll go on the other side. Oh my gosh. My cat just jumped from the floor up there. I don't know how that was possible, but okay. Um, so we're out careful. Hi. They're like acrobatics. My kitchen is also a mess, which is a little bit of a stressor, but it's fine. So I went grocery shopping one last time, and my favorite breakfast is eggs, avocado toast, cottage cheese, and sausage. They were literally out of sausage, like just all sausage. I was like, how are you just out of sausage? So that's frustrating because now I don't have meat to eat with my breakfast. Um, I don't remember if I updated y'all or not, but I got approved for my apartment for that townhouse that I was talking about, the one that I showed you guys in the video, you know, the only apartment I looked at while I was in Texas. I got approved for it and I move in July 19th, down the deposit and everything already, so. I have a place to live. And if for whatever reason you haven't been keeping up, um, I'm staying at my friends until I can move into my new place. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for when I'm living at my friend's house. We were texting about all the fun stuff we're gonna do. So expect some good fun vlogs. I made these like little chicken nuggets and they're so good. This has been like my go-to. I just like add like every seasoning that looks like it would be good. And then like garlic. And if I had soy sauce, I would add that, but I'm out of soy sauce. Unfortunately, but and then I just make these little chicken nuggets out of like three chicken breasts and it lasts me a couple days for dinner And I do this and rice and veggies literally my favorite thing ever I know it's the most basic meal chicken rice and veggies, but I don't know why I just really like it But on the other hand, I also have donuts over here and muffins and fruit snacks So it seems like I'm eating healthy. That is a lie I am not eating healthy and I would like to start eating healthy and working out again soon But I've just been so like it's just excuses, but I've been like so stressed with everything Everything going on. It's probably not going to be until I'm into my new apartment, like my own place in July, before I can really get in a normal routine again. <laughs> I also have one more hair appointment. I'm just going to go in, get the blonde touched up, get it toned, and my brown hair is actually growing out. I don't know if you can tell. And the black has kind of turned more into like a dark brown, like it's almost faded or gotten lighter from the sun, which I'm fine with, but I don't like that my brown roots are showing on the really dark hair. So I'm gonna get that touched up. And that appointment is on Friday. So I already packed all my shampoo and everything because I'm not gonna, after I get my hair done, I don't wash it for like a week or two weeks because my hair does not get oily. So that'll be actually very nice and very convenient for me. And it'll be straight. So when my hair is straight, I can just brush it and that's all I have to do for the day. Oh, my cousins moved into a new house too. I know a lot of people I've seen in my comments have been asking where they are or whatever. So my cousins and I used to be neighbors 
and they decided pretty much last minute, like the same time I kind of did, to move down 30, 40 minutes from here. And they found this really cute house, and then they found this really cute warehouse, and it is, I'm obsessed with it. It's like a big studio, and it was built in like the 1800s, so it's like a historical building, and that's where they're, they do their work there with Dreadful Hippie, and then their house is really cute too. So, they live kind of far from here, but I'm moving. It's like we both moved at the same time, it's perfect. Oh no, my last fork. I always know it's time to do the dishes when I run out of fork. I've also been getting a lot of questions why I'm not moving to Missouri, back into my house, and how that might be like the easier option. I'm making it harder on myself or whatever. My house in Missouri, I love that house. If I could pick that house up and move it somewhere else, I would, but I can't. Um, so right now I have renters in it. They're actually moving out soon, like in July or August, and then I'm gonna raise my rent because rent has been going up like crazy everywhere. My cousins are renting out their house that's like almost identical to mine for a couple hundred dollars more than I was renting out mine. So I'm definitely about to raise my rent, which will be so nice because it'll basically pay my mortgage and a lot of my rent out in Texas. So I'm using it more of like an investment property than an actual home, but I don't think I'll ever move back there just because I love my family and everyone who lives there, but it just gives me like so many memories that I don't want to have. And I like having my independence and kind of living away from my family. Like I love them, but I love visiting. I like having my independence. And I don't have any friends there. So all my friends from high school like live somewhere else or I mean, I don't really keep up with many of my high school friends anyway, but it's like everyone who lives there, I know from when I was in high school and I feel like a lot of people don't like me there for some reason. I don't know. I feel like just moving out of your hometown until you actually have moved out of your hometown, you don't realize that you don't want to live there. You know what I mean? Because now that I have moved out of my hometown, I don't think I can ever go back. Like, I love visiting. I'm home for Christmas, all that stuff. But I'm probably never going to move back to Missouri. And then the other thing is, in Texas, I have all these friends that I just met. And, like, that's literally what being in your 20s is, like, for. It's for figuring out who you are, hanging out with friends, that kind of stuff. And so I'm excited to kind of just be a regular 20-year-old and have some friends. And even live with some friends for a little bit. And just keep working really hard. So I guess that's that. Little bit of a rant, not so much a rant, just like letting you guys know what's up. Oh, also I just wanna tell you guys, so like right now I post three times a week. Usually it's Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. This week I had so much going on. It's Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, whatever. I try to post three times a week. That's like my normal schedule. Over this week of me moving, I'm trying really hard to do that. Like I think I'm gonna do like a last week here in Utah video, maybe another video with my cousins, a video of me actually moving, videos like that. But moving is stressful and I am gonna be really busy. So if you don't see me for a little bit, I'm working on it. <laughs> also, I feel like when I first get to my friends, it'll be hard to be motivated because I'll just want to relax and hang out, you know? But I'll try to get back on it as soon as I can. But the month of June is gonna be a little bit all over the place as far as posting, but I'm just gonna post whenever I can. That's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know this video was not what I was supposed to be, but whatever. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next one. It probably will be like a last adventurous type video and then a moving video. That's probably where this is headed. Anyway, love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.